All right, this is car C. My header board, probably my security, not crap into broken. There's no missing rivet or there's no hole in my uh header board to lose cargo in case of emergency stop. My clearance light, properly mounted secure, not crap at the broken. I bought some prison and on tight. Amber in color and it's working properly. My trailer, properly mounted and secure, not crap at the broken. Our rivets are present. There's no hole on the side of my trailer to lose cargo in case of emergency stop. My DOT tape, properly mounted and secure, not cut to on the fray, it's clear and visible. And that's, it's at least 50%. My frame, my floor, and my cross members. They are all properly mounted and secured. Not crap, bit the broken. My frame has no illegal well, and I have no missing members, and there's no hole in my floor to lose cargo. My landing gear, properly mounted and secured. Not crap bent the broken. Our bolts are present and on tight. It's in the up position. And there's no illegal welds on my landing gear. My landing gear pads. Properly mounted and secure. Not crap bent the broken. Our bolts are present and on tight. My crank arm. Properly mounted and secure. Not crap bent the broken. Our bolts are present and on tight. And it's in a resting position. My left turn signal, my four-way flasher, my nighttime running light. It's popping my secure, not crap bent the broken, not both are present and on tight. It's amber in color and working properly. Okay, at this point, you guys, remember, y'all have to check y'all trailer when y'all first get back here to see if it's air ride, meaning it have airbags and shock absorber, or it's spring ride with no airbags or no shock absorber. As you can see, it's a spring ride trailer. So tell them, this is a spring ride trailer, therefore I do not have any airbags or shock absorbers. Once you say that, general overview on all my hoses. Probably not secure, no abrasion bolts are cuts, and they're not leaking. They're hanging at a proper height, at least 18 inches off the ground. My torque on, probably my secure, not crap bent or broken. All bolts are present and all tight. It have bushes, top and bottom. My bushes are probably my secure. No abrasion bolts are cut and not dry rod it. My tandem sliding rail. Probably my secure. Not crap into broken. Our bolts are present and all tight. There's no illegal wheels. Held by my tandem locking pins. Probably my secure. Not crap into broken. Our bolts are present and on tight. And it's in a locked position. My tandem release arm and safety latch. Properly mounted and secure, not crap bit the broken. Our bolts are present and on tight, and it's in a locked position. My tandem frame, properly mounted and secure, not crap bit the broken. Our bolts are present and on tight, and there's no illegal well. My front, middle, and rear spring mounts. They're all a proper mind secure, not crap bent or broken. All bolts are present and on tight, and it's proper mind secure to the frame and no illegal wells. They're holding my leaf spring. My leaf springs are properly mounted and secure, not crap bent or broken. All bolts are present and on tight. It's not shifted, and if there's a crack, it shouldn't be no more than quarter inch of crack. They're being held down by my U bolts to the axle. My U-bolts are properly mounted and secured, not crap bent or broken. Our bolts are present and on tight. Here you got your brake hose. My brake hose is properly mounted and secured, no brake bolts or cuts, and it's not leaking. My ABS wire, properly mounted and secured, not cut, torn, or frayed. My brake chamber, properly mounted and secured, not crap bent or broken. Our bolts are present. And on tight, it held by top and bottom clamps, which is here. They are probably my secure, not crap bent or broken. Our bolts are present and on tight. And my brake chamber is not leaking. Back here behind your brake chamber is your push rod and slack adjuster. They are probably my secure, not crap bent or broken. Our bolts are present and on tight, held by pins and keepers. And with the brake release, there shouldn't be no more than an inch of play.
Inside your tire, you have your brake shoes or your brake pads and your linings. They're probably mine secured and not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no grease or debris on your pads. It's at least a quarter inch thickness. And they're sitting inside your brake drum. My brake drum is probably mine secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. I bought some present on tight, and there's no illegal wells. I have my tires, inner outer face, inner outer face, properly mounted secure, no abrasion bolts or cuts. They're not leaking. They're at least 100 PSI, and they're two thirty seconds a tread through. Between my tire, I have my bud spacing, properly mounted and secured, and it's at least three inches apart. My tires are not touching, but my rims are touching. My tires are seated and beaded to my rims. My rims are properly mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no legal wells, and all boats are present and on tight, which is the love nuts. My love nuts are properly mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. All are present and on tight. There's no signs of metal shavings or rust indicating looseness. My axle seal are properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. All boats are present and on tight, and it's not leaking. <clears throat> My inner, my inner and outer valve stem, they're both properly mounted secure, not crap bit the broken. The cap is not present on this one, so you will report this on your DVR. Again, before you even say anything about that other tire, just like car B, you, you go do a little overview, making sure you got everything, especially everything on this tire. So just make sure you got everything. So once you see that you probably got everything, I would expect this set of tires and those two sets of tires the same way I just inspected this set of tires. My mud flap, probably my secured. No, uh, not cut to on the fray. They hanging at a proper height, at least eight inches off the ground. It's, the frame is not cracked, bent or broken. Our boats are present and on tight. There's no DOT tape on this one, remember, because the DOT tape is on the bumper. Okay, here, normally I have my ABS light. It'll be probably my secure, not crap bit the broken, amber in color, and working properly. My clearance slash marker light. At the top, my clearance slash marker light. Left and right turn signal, four way flashes, nighttime running light, your brake lights. Inside, brake lights. Inside, all the proper my secure, not crap bit the broken. They're red in color and they're working properly. Got my door. It's a roll up door. It's properly mine and secure, not crap bit the broken. All rivets are present. There's no hole in my door to lose cargo. I got my door handle. Proper my secure, not crap bit the broken. All bolts are present and on tight, and it's in a locked position. I got my DLT bumper. My bumper is properly mounted secured. Not crap bent or broken. Our boats are present and on tight. And there's no illegal wells. I got my DLT tape. Proper mine secured. Not cut to on the frame. It's at least 100%. It's clear and visible to see. I will inspect my passenger side of my trailer the same way I just inspected my driver's side of the trailer. This includes car C, you guys. 